All right, we are going to be staying with parallel parking. This time we're going to be more focusing on your uh, CDL tests and what they're expecting of you and how to do it. And we're just going to be using a 53 foot trailer uh, with your axles all the way forward. Um, I well, hope you learned something from it. Now, if you want to practice some of the CDL levels like the parallel park, all you have to do is go to in my game, go to CDL practice levels. Uh, then go to parallel parking, straight back alley dock or whatever you want to do. And it'll just focus on that. So in parallel parking, you get a choice between the 28, 35, 40, 48 and 53 foot trailer. And you get to just practice to your heart's content. All right, that's that's it. All right. Uh, back with the, the tutorial. All right. Parallel parking basically means that you're jackknifing. You're doing a straight back. And you're jackknifing and uh, kind of a straight back, maybe a bit, a, bit, a bit of a pull forward. Now, I can't just say that and it's going to work every single time. There's tiny little parts in it that you have to adjust for. All right. So again, like I said, we're going to do a jackknife. OK, there we go. Now we're going to do a straight back. Let's straighten up. All right. No, now we're going to straighten up. Now we're going to jackknife. <laughs> OK. And now we're going to straighten up. Do, do, do. All right, and now we have a straight back. Depends on how much you want to do a straight back. You can do a little bit of a pull forward, because that's basically it. But there's, you can't just, it's not always going to work that way. It's not always not going to work out that well. So if you're doing a test at your truck school, you're pretty much going to be doing the exact same thing. No, none of the var variables are going to change. All right, you're always going to pull up to that barrel, to that cone, to that po pothole, whatever you're going to be told to do at your school. All right, you're going to turn your steering wheel to the exact amount of rotations that the instructor said, and it's going to work out nearly every single time for you. All right, again, that's not reality, but again, you're trying to get your C. If you are watching this video because you're trying to get your CDL, then yeah, just do whatever your instructor says. So let's just presume you're doing your test right now. All right, so when you're doing your test, we're going to be based basically part, getting your whole truck and trailer past the the entrance. Now I've I've looked on YouTube and I tried watching other people do it uh, just to see what how they were instructing people. And a lot of time they didn't actually have any cones over here. Okay, uh, it's reality to have something over here like a parked vehicle that you're trying to park next to. Because if there was nothing here, then you might as well just have driven right into it. Okay, but. Uh, a lot of reason they don't have cones here because your the front of your truck dips in this this area just a little bit. All right, so the closer you are, uh, if there is cones or a vehicle, well, you got to take the harder it is a little bit. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're basically going to park, or stop the vehicle, uh, past the space. Basically, again, it's if you have your axles all the way back. If you have a smaller vehicle, it's just so many so many things you got to take into consideration. But nine out of ten times, park past the space. Okay. Now, of course, the the, the size of the space matters. Okay. Uh, from what I can gather on from what a, a bunch of uh, schools that I have done aerial photographs of, this is the space that you're given with with when it comes to the size of the truck. Now. First thing we do, we jackknife. All right, so we're gonna. I, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just do uh, instead of going all the way to the left, I'm just gonna go halfway. Okay, so basically in the real world, this would be like one rotation. Okay, so first thing, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna go try go as slowly as possible. As you can see, the front of the truck is going to the right. All right, now we are jackknifed. This would be considered a bit of a blind side. Okay. Now, again, we can still see what's going on. We can still see the cones and everything, okay? Um, but at this point, all right, now we are already turned. We have a bunch of area over here that we don't need to use, but it's there. Nobody else is using it, but just so you don't have to actually worry about too much over here, okay? So we are turned, all right? So I'm going to zoom out just so we can actually see what's going on, all right? Um, if I point my steer straight right now, Okay, I'm only going to back up a couple of feet right now, just a couple of feet. I'm still turning, as you can see. So when those lines are actually going to be drifting off to the right in the game, that is, that means that there is a, a greater angle between the truck and the trailer. All right. Now, I'm going to start chasing now. I'm going to get back underneath it, meaning I'm going to get, I'm going to straighten up my truck and trailer and see what's going on. All right. By the time I get straight, uh, these lines will be pointing a little bit more to the right. Okay. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and crank it all the way, which is going to straighten me up in the shortest distance. Okay, and as predicted, now I'm pointing towards 
the corner. That's where you want to be pointing towards all the time, in, regardless of any uh, parallel parking that you were doing. Okay, so this is a good thing. Okay, now you can point up a little closer if you wanted to. All right, but definitely want, you don't want to be pointing in this area over here. All right, because you just won't be able to get it in. All right, because you can get the back of the trailer there, but you won't be able to get the front of the trailer. Okay, now, so I'm going to start backing up again. All right, and I'm just doing a straight back. I'm just doing a straight back, straight back, straight back, straight. Okay, now I'm going to start turning. I'm going to whip the front of the trailer to the right. Of course, it's going to start bringing the back of the trailer to the left and get bringing the, the trailer closer to being parallel with the space itself. Okay, so backing up. Okay, now at this point, you may want to get a look. Why not? All right, because you're a little worried about the cones. Now you could match it down with the uh, back of the trailer versus this line. But of course, not every single course will have a line. All right. I know the real world doesn't have a line when you're parallel parking. So you may want to get out and look. Okay, so we've, we've gotten out and looked. All right, let's go ahead and point my steer straight. It's going to keep myself jackknifing, but not, at, but not at, a, at a faster rate as if I was to... Uh, to do this okay so start backing up start backing up slowly and now that i'm nearly parallel i'm nearly parallel i'm going to start chasing it so hard left hard left hard left now stop now i did hit that cone sorry that's so far away there we go i did hit that cone so i pretty much failed <laughs> okay now let's say i didn't back up all the way and i was paying attention to that cone and i wasn't paying attention to something else okay so let's say we were where were we whoops sorry that's the other one there. Let's say we went to this point, okay? And we realized what was happening. We Again, because if you're parallel and you're at an angle, well, you have to do a pull forward, basically, okay? Meaning because you can't really straighten it in reverse. So you got to go ahead and just turn the steering wheel all the way to the right, pull forward, okay? And we're now we're, we're in the space, but we're not we're not parallel, but we're at a passable, passable grade, and that's what you're already looking for. Now, I know that was a lot to take in, all right? Would you like to do it one more time? Okay, I see everybody nodding their heads yes, so let's do it one more time. So I'm gonna go a little quicker this time around. Now, uh, one thing that I noticed when I was backing up the last time is that I wasn't really using this area over here too much. So we're, let's let's try not to use the back area here, but let's just use the front area, okay? So back again to where we were. Let's pull forward. Now we can, if you pull forward as much as you want to, as long as the room is there and as long as it's allowed, so by all means. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn. And once I get to around this angle, now what is this angle you may ask yourself? Well, this angle could be maybe when you're looking in your in your flat mirror on the right and you're starting to lose the back of the trailer. That's roughly about where, where that is. So you could be leaning all the way forward looking in, in for it. And once you're, once you're missing it, go ahead and uh, Go ahead and turn all the way to, all the way to the right, which will straighten you up in the shortest distance. Okay, and now we have a straight back. So when you're looking in your mirrors, okay, right now you are seeing uh, you're not seeing the corner. You're only seeing two cones. Okay, so maybe we need to do another jackknife. All right, so let's go ahead and back turn to the left again. All right, and now let's straighten up. Straightening up by turning the steering wheel all the way. Okay, now we're looking. Now we're looking in the corner, and I like that. Okay, so we're going to do. We're we're just going to do a straight back. All right, we're doing straight back, straight back, straight back, straight back, straight back, straight back. I'm going to stop for a second because I want to. I want to talk about something. I want to talk about this area over here. All right, now I can see this cone in my mirror. All right, this is a very important cone, and of course, uh, the front of my trailer. Now, depending on the distance between this this uh, the side of your trailer and this cone will uh, indicate when you can actually start your turn. Now, if I was rubbing up alongside this cone and I'm only a few inches away from it, I can't start turning till the front of my trailer gets past this uh, cone or barrel or whatever it is. Now, because I am a good distance away, I'm around six, seven feet away, all right, I can turn now. If I wanted, actually, I could turn way up. I, I could actually turn way up here and get away with it. But that would, of course, I have to talk about what's going on back here first. Um, I can I can start turning now. Instead of cranking it all the way to the right, okay, I'm just going to slightly turn, okay? I'm just going to slightly turn. There we go. And it's slowly bringing me in, all right? I can turn a little bit more. Again, I'm looking at the line on the ground. Now I'm going to start chasing it all the way. And now, of course, remember that one cone that I hit back here? I'm paying attention to that because I'm not parallel right now. 
And uh, if I do be go beyond parallel, meaning if my the front of my truck is pointing over here to the right, well, I'm definitely going to be kind of worried about that. And all you have to do is do a pull forward. But it looks like I'm getting this all in one shot. All right, so all the way to the left because I want to straighten up. And of course, you can just do a pull forward and we are in, okay? All right, this is the end of this video. Now, the next video, I'm still gonna focus on parallel parking, but we are gonna be dealing with a smaller truck and a trailer because there is a lot of cheaper truck schools out there that will just basically just give you the minimum requirement of a parallel park or minimum requirement of a trailer and, and truck. So we're, we're gonna be using those instead. All right, uh, later, goodbye.